Peppermint Patty Peppermint Patty is a fictional character featured in Charles M. Schull's comic strip Peanuts. Her full name is Patricia Reichert, which is very rarely used in the strip. She is one of a small group in the strip who lives across town from Charlie Brown and his school friends, although in the Peanuts movie, Snoopy in Space, and the Snoopy show she, along with Marcy and Franklin, lives in the same neighborhood and attends the same school. She has freckles and mousy blah hair, and generally displays the characteristics of a tomboy. She made her first appearance on August 22, 1966. The following year, she made her animated debut in the TV special You're in Love, Charlie Brown, and began in the comics coaching a baseball team that played against Charlie Brown and since has had other adventures with him. Uniquely, she refers to Charlie Brown and Lucy as Chuck and Lucille, respectively. In most of her appearances, she is attracted to Charlie Brown based on her reactions. Her birthday is on October 4. History Charles M. Schultz modeled Peppermint Patty after a favorite cousin, Patricia Swanson, who served as a regular inspiration for Peanuts. Schultz had also named his earlier character Patty after Swanson, and he coined his well-known phrase happiness is a warm puppy during a conversation with her in 1959. Swanson's roommate Elise Galloway served as the model for Peppermint Patty's best friend Marcy. In later years, especially after lesbian groups began identifying with Peppermint Patty, Schultz downplayed the fact that the character was based on Swanson to protect her privacy. In one interview, Schultz stated that he coined Peppermint Patty's name after noticing a dish of Peppermint Patties in his house and deciding the name was so good that he should use it before another artist thought of the same joke. He created the character design complete with the incentive to audaciously have her toes in the open to fit the name. Peppermint Patty debuted in the strip of August 22, 1966. In 1972, Schultz introduced the character's last name, Reichert, which he borrowed from the last name of his secretary, Sue Reichert, whose favorite character was Peppermint Patty. Peppermint Patty was first voiced by Gabrielle DeFeria in the CBS television specials, then by various other child performers both male, such as Christopher DeFeria and Stuart Brockman, and female including Donna Foreman, 1974, Linda Ercali, 1974, Victoria Vargas, 1983, Jenny Holtzman, 1984. Theme Song Jazz pianist Vince Garaldi composed the eponymous theme song for Peppermint Patty in 1967, making its first appearance in the television special You're in Love, Charlie Brown. In his book Vince Garaldi at the Piano, Garaldi historian and biographer Derek Bang wrote that the upbeat melody aptly conveyed her character's feisty, tomboyish nature and just under the radar feminism. Producer Lee Mendelssohn commented that Schulz was particularly fond of the theme Garaldi wrote for the character. Various renditions of Peppermint Patty's theme song appeared in nearly every television, special Garaldi scored that the character appeared in, including He's Your Dog, Charlie Brown 1968, It Was a Short Summer, Charlie Brown 1969, Play It Again, Charlie Brown 1971, There Is No Time for Love, Charlie Brown, a char Unique variations of the song were commercially released on the albums Oh Good Grief, 1968 and the Charlie Brown Suite and other favorites recorded 1969, released 2003. It also was covered by George Winston on Linus and Lucy, the music of Vince Garaldi 1996 and David Benoit on It's a David Benoit Christmas, 2020. Appearance Peppermint Patty has chin-length hair that she describes as mousy blah, most often depicted as a medium brown though, the color has sometimes appeared as orange-red or auburn, as in the Peanuts movie, and has freckles. She wears a green, striped collared shirt, black or dark blue shorts, long pants in the Peanuts movie with two vertical white stripes on each side, and almost always wears sandals brown in the comic strip, and merchandise green in animated appearances, except in the Peanuts movie Minus Socks. Although her implied attachment to having her toes in the open is never clarified, 
in one series of strips where she is forbidden to wear the sandals in school it is revealed they were a gift from her father because she was a rare gem character traits relationships with other characters peppermint patty's closest friend marcy calls her sir it is never revealed whether this eccentric habit dating to marcy's first appearance in the strip in nineteen seventy one is the result of misguided manners poor eyesight a snarky reference to patty's tomboyish ways or some other reason for a long time this was a major annoyance to patty who would continually snap at marcy stop calling me sir eventually she got used to it although she still preferred that marcy not call her sir marcy also called her priscilla in a charlie brown thanksgiving however this is a continuation of a reference Linus had just made to Longfellow's poem The Courtship of Miles Standish, in which Standish asks John Alden to speak to Priscilla Mullins on his behalf, just as Peppermint Patty has asked Marcy to speak. The uh, speak. Ah. The first character to call Peppermint Patty Sir was not Marcy, but a pigtailed girl named Sophie in Peppermint Patty's cabin at summer camp who appeared in the same series of strips in the summer of 1968 that introduced Marcy's predecessor, Clara. When Sophie and Clara this time sends glasses, reappeared in Peanuts in the summer of 1987, they called her Ma'am, which also annoyed her. Not until a few years after she was introduced into the strip did it become apparent that Peppermint Patty had a crush on Charlie Brown, although it is pursued and received with varying degrees of projection, enthusiasm, and obliviousness, especially on the part of Charlie Brown. Peppermint Patty frequently plays lover's games with Charlie Brown and gets frustrated or even angry when he does not take the bait. He does like Peppermint Patty, but only as a friend, though their friendship is occasionally strained by her strong personality and bossiness toward him. Originally, Peppermint Patty played reverse psychology, she would often say, you kind of like me, don't you, Chuck, when it was clear that it was Peppermint Patty who had the crush on Charlie Brown, while he not only did not have a crush on her, he also did not quite know what to make of her. His true love was the unattainable little red-haired girl, and having a girl actually like him was unexplored territory, although Peppermint Patty once angrily expressed her jealousy to Charlie Brown for his affection of that girl. Patty frequently denied having a crush on Charlie Brown at first, writing him off as too wishy-washy, and because she could strike him out on three straight pitches, and during a game of hall, Herman crudely insulting him when she thought he was not listening. However, to her credit, she was shown to be visibly upset when Marcy pointed out that he had overheard her comments and apologized to him the very next day. Yet, it was still obvious to Marcy that Peppermint Patty liked Charlie Brown as more than a friend, wishy-washy or not. In one Sunday strip on July 22 from 1979 drawn as part of a storyline in which Charlie Brown was in the hospital, Peppermint Patty essentially admitted her feelings for Charlie Brown and in the same strip Marcy admitted loving Chuck, so far as to affirming her willingness to marry Charlie Brown. Even this strip ended in a denial of sorts. Patty brought Marcy up to the front desk of the hospital and tried to have her admitted as a patient, saying, I think she's sicker than he is. Peppermint Patty often tries to talk to Charlie Brown about matters of the heart often depicted with both characters. Patty often grumbles, I hate talking to you, Chuck, whenever she tries to confide in him, and he does not tell her what she wants to hear. Peppermint Patty also developed a crush on Pigpen for a while in 1980, after Charlie Brown set them up on a date for a Valentine's Day dance. Also, in the movie Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, both she and Marcy were shown as being attracted to Pierre, the son of their host family in Paris. Pierre only returned Marcy's affections, however, a fact to which Peppermint Patty remained oblivious even when they were holding hands right in front of her. Peppermint Patty also has a strong friendship with Snoopy. For years, owing to Snoopy's often human-like behavior, Patty often refers to Snoopy as a funny-looking kid with a big nose. It with a big nose. The rest of the cast is often confused by Patty's obliviousness, but she was finally corrected in the strip from March 21, 1974, 
by Marcy. Patty since accepts that Snoopy is a dog but often still treats him like a human, which pleases Snoopy since most of the characters treat him like a dog, albeit a remarkably gifted one. Snoopy acts as Peppermint Patty's ice skating coach. Although he is silent and grumbling most of the time, he acknowledges Patty's successes with a kiss on her nose. Voiced by Family Peppermint Patty's mother is never seen or mentioned. In the strip of September 27, 1973, Peppermint Patty simply says she doesn't have a mother. The fate of her mother is never revealed in the strip. Peppermint Patty's dad often calls Patty a rare gem. In the cartoons, his voice, like those of all adults, is heard as wah-wahs made by musician Dean Hubbard.